Hello, I'm Ann Krinsky, and we're here at the Worthing Museum and Art Gallery with my exhibition Fugitive, which is um, an, a sequence of large-scale digital prints that I made in response to South Coast wetlands that I photographed in 2020 and 2021 during the pandemic. So for the last four years, I've been working on a, a long-term project about vulnerable wetlands and climate change in a range of river and coastal locations. Um, for this exhibition, I explored wetlands on the south coast of England, including Key Haven and Livington Reserves, and Chichester, Haddon, and Portsmouth Harbor. I wanted to share my passion for these beautiful habitats that are threatened by rising sea levels and pollution. I think of the photographs that I started with in wetlands as the raw materials for this project, as opposed to raw materials like paint or gesso or canvas. Um, they're the starting point, and then um, with projection and with layering and all sorts of manipulation, I find imagery that derives from them, but is also something else again. As it happens, I have a second exhibition in Worthing, which is on the Worthing seafront, and it's an outdoor exhibition, and I, it's on the same theme of wetlands on the south coast. It's been exciting to see the prints on the seafront because the imagery is of mud and elements of, on the shore, and to have them on the shore and to see rocks and mud and the ocean just adjacent to them, um, it's just a really wonderful chance to have the work, which is about the environment, exist within that environment. Also, it's a wonderful opportunity to show work outdoors in the public space. Museums are wonderful, but not everybody comes to them. But when you're out having a walk on the seafront promenade and you come upon something you weren't expecting to see, uh, an art installation of some kind, I really relish the opportunity everybody to have that chance. They can hate it, they can love it, they can ignore it, but some of, some people will stop and engage with the work and that's very exciting for an artist. One of the photographs that I left in the seafront show was a photograph of mud and that photograph figures quite prominently in the prints that are at the museum. Um, they don't necessarily necessarily look like it's the same photograph, but if you look closely, you'll see they have the same shape. And as Lizzie Hibbard, the biologist said, mud is where it all starts. 